Hi friends, I am Dr. B. V. Rao of Usha Clinic and founder of the website viewmedicaldoubts.blogspot.com and uh, raghavamedicaldoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary. For the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medicals. Today I am going to discuss about the corpus luteum cysts of ovary. The women contains two ovaries to perform the functions of uh, functions and maintaining of the physique of the female and of functions like uh, reproduction by producing ova and maintaining the pregnancy by the production of hormones, estrogen and uh, progesterone. Ovaries are two in number, oval organs uh, approximately 3 cm long, 2 cm wide and 1 cm thickness, lying on either side of the uterus. They lie near the lateral wall of ed uh, wall adjacent to the anterior superior iliac spine. The diseases of the ovaries are uh, described as the cysts and are of uh, three types. Retention cyst. It is the retention cyst of the graphene follicle and may form as a follicular cyst or uh, corpus luteum cyst. The second type of the cyst is a neoplasm. The third type is a cyst filled with uh, altered blood due to ovarian endometriosis or hemorrhage into corpus luteum. Corpus luteum cyst. Corpus luteum cysts are uh, common in early pregnancy. They are large and uh, measuring about uh, 6 cm in diameter. The wall is thin and uh, contains yellow clear fluid. The wall of the cyst contains the normal convulsion uh, conversions of the corpus luteum, they need not be considered as uh, pathological. They represent the overactivity of the corpus luteum. Symptoms. They really cause the localizing symptoms and are found only during routine examination. It usually becomes smaller as the pregnancy advances. <coughs> if it is uh, removed by surgery before the 14th week of pregnancy, the product is aborted spontaneously. After 14 week of pregnancy, the function of ovary of uh, producing hormones is taken up by the placenta. Rarely it may remain uh, functional for a, a variable period beyond its uh, normal lifespan. The excess of uh, circulating uh, progesterone can cause a state of uh, pseudo-pregnancy with amenorrhea of short duration followed by prolonged uterine bleeding. It may resemble early pregnancy followed by abortion metropathy hemorrhagica in uh, which the clinical signs are exactly similar to ectopic gestation. Curitage reveals a uh, secretory pattern of uh, endometrium thus uh, distinguishing it from metropathia hemorrhagica and the condition is always spontaneously cured when correctly diagnosed corpus luteum hematoma it is uh, somewhat similar to uh, follicular hematoma in in the corpus luteum hematoma hematomata the blood is diffused not only into the theca internal layer but also among the granulosa lutein cells. As at this stage of development of the follicle, the granulosa lutein layer and the cavity of the corpus luteum occasionally diffuse intraperitoneal bleeding with a collapse and shock follows the rupture of the corpus luteum hematoma. Granulosa lutein cyst. The lutein cysts of hydrated form mole and chorion epithelioma. These uh, cysts are always uh, bilateral, arise in case of hydrated form mole and few of the cases of uh, chorion epithelioma occurs following attempted uh, in 
induction of ovulation by follicle stimulating hormone <coughs> and uh, human chorionic gonadotropin the ovaries are enlarged to as much as 4 inches in diameter and each ovary may contain as many as 15 to 20 cysts of this kind the surface of the cyst have no adhesion but uh, nodular appearance is uh, produced by the cyst projecting under the su surface large cysts of about 3 inches of diameter have been sometimes described the cysts are thin walled and uh, contains a yellow fluid and frequently fibrinous or gelatinous substance is formed in this cavity the cysts are of the na nature of the granulosa lutein cysts as they are all derived from follicular uh, follicles of and show well marked luteinization of both granulosa and uh, theca interna cells compound granulosa lutein cysts atrophy after removal of the causative hydratiform mold and uh, though their uh, spontaneous regression may take several months no active treatment is indicated apart from the completion of the torsion <coughs> theca lutein cysts theca lutein cysts probably uh, represent a later phase of the granulosa lutein cysts in which <coughs> the granulosa cells have atrophied and uh, disappeared and in which the theca interna cells uh, persist with uh, some evidence of uh, luteinization the terms uh, granulosa <coughs> lutein and theca lutein represents the two stages of the same disorder <coughs> retention cysts symptoms pain the removal of the cystic ovary uh, rarely cures the pain and uh, even the conservative operation of uh, ovarian cystectomy is usually unsatisfactory <coughs> menstrual disturbances a persistent functional corpus luteum can cause a temporary amenorrhea <coughs> epimenorrhea is caused by the congested multi cystic ovary in association with intra pelvic inflammatory disease metal smetch pain at ovulation time it is sometimes seen in association with a sclerocystic ovary and is uh, presumed to be due to excessive intra cystic tension it is also can occur with normal ovary hemorrhage into retention cyst it may cause a rupture and intra peritoneal bleeding with the symptoms of ectopic gestation observation for 12 hours uh, may show a dramatic improvement in the condition still many will undergo laparotomy treatment cysts and uh, hematoma of the graafian follicle the don't require any treatment unless uh, they have attained considerable size or uh, are the source of excessive intraperitoneal bleeding when such a cystic ovary is seen during the hysterectomy for some uh, benign lesion in the woman before menopause it is common practice to remove the ovary it is an illegal uh, procedure as it has been shown that uh, frequently only one ovary remains active for some years before the menopause and in such a case, such a case this is likely to be the cystic one so that uh, the aim of uh, con conserving <coughs> conceiving ovarian function is uh, defeated by its uh, removal if something is to be done the cyst should be punctured with a needle and collapsed or inucleated by ovarian cystectomy excised by partial oophorectomy and the bulk of the functional ovary is thereby conserved
that's all about the corpus luteum cyst of ovary and in the next video i will discuss about some other disease thank you